Bat Stata, Bat Stata. Welcome back. What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C, straight from the 305 Miami Dade County. But y'all know I move out here in Orlando for college, and I finished college and decided to stick around here. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time joining my channel, you know what to do. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, so you can get the best story times on YouTube. But channel, channel, channel. Now, welcome back to my channel. All of you subscribers, all the people, it's your host C to the J to the C. I went back swimmer right there, the same swimmer I had. Going to Bahamas and speaking of Bahamas, today's story time is gonna be my first cruise and trip to Bahamas with my girlfriend Joy, part one. Part one. So there's a two-part series because there's a long trip and four days worth of, of content. Meaning Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I'm gonna give y'all two days in this part one and the last two days in part two. So stick around for part two and know how this gonna end today in part one of my first cruise trip to the Bahamas with my girlfriend, Joy. But it's y'all, welcome back to my channel, man. It's a vibe. Like, are y'all enjoying yourself? Are y'all commenting on my video? Like I never seen the comment and be saying like, oh, there's people viewing. I appreciate the views and the likes, but uh, the likes not so much. Y'all need to work on that too. I need the likes and I need the comments. Hope all of y'all be safe and be well in this coronavirus time. The world is getting like spooky and scary at this time. And this is where we need God more. Like where we need to like really be safe, protect ourselves, wash your hands, please, for the love of God. Like, please wash your hands with soap too. <laughs> Don't just wash it, wash it with soap. Hand sanitizer is good, but that soap, make sure that germ is wiped out. You feel me though? Like you want it wiped out. You don't want it to be sanitized out. You want it to be wiped out. You get it? You get the difference? Like, you feeling the vibe? All right. But, yeah, like, today is part one of my first cruise to the Bahamas with my girl, Joy. So, we was, we had, we been made plan for this. Like, this is when me and Joy was early in our relationship. Y'all, As y'all know how the relationship started. When I, if y'all ain't see the story time, um, how I met my girlfriend, Joy, go leave this video now and go check it out. Or you're going to be kind of confused who the hell is Joy. And, all right. So, um. But yeah, like after, yeah, she came my girlfriend, um, I, I went to her house one time. That was a whole experience. That's a, that's not a good story time I could give. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna do, <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm gonna do a story time, my first trip to Joy House before I do, after I do this, which is after those events. But yeah, we're gonna talk about like my first cruise trip. This is about the first cruise trip and the whole experience. And it is a four day, like a three day cruise, fourth day also happy to end. And there's a two parts to this story time. So there's part one. This is the video for part one. Hope y'all enjoy it. And remember to look out for part two. I might not, the next video might not be part two, but part two will come. Yeah, I just gotta understand how transitions work and stuff like that. But I've been talking too much. Let's get to it. So um so yeah, we've been uh me and Joy, we've been made plans to go to the Bahamas and it was my first cruise. Um the best part, the funny part about it, they didn't have time for me to go. It was her, um, her sister, her sister, not her blood sister, but who she could say her sister Keisha made plans with Keisha boyfriend Howard to go to the Bahamas. And we were still early on our relationship, but Joy randomly asked me, she said, um, do you want to go to a cruise in the Bahamas? I just said, I know it's kind of fast. We just like, we just got started this relationship. Is that speed up? Like, um, think about it. Like, people that's been in a relationship for 10 years, 15 years, cruise ships, like, they think about cruise like deep and like a honeymoon stand or, or like something like that. But we talk about cruise like barely even two, three weeks in the relationship. But that it is what it is. Like, oh, we was, we was a train. Like, me and Joe was moving like, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody just like, relax, take a break. And we just like, nah, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, everything needed to happen fast. Like our life was just fast, like going quick. But um, yeah, they made they made plans to go to Bahamas for a while. But uh, but Joy was basically like um, Keisha told Joy to ask me if I wanted to go, and she was like, oh, I'm not sure. But she decided to do. She did ask me, and I told her like, um, I'm not sure. I have to see how much PTO I have, pay time off, and also ask my manager if she's gonna approve of me going and leaving at that time. And this is going to be um throughout Thanksgiving week because Thanksgiving fell on a Friday and then we went the cruise is gonna be yeah Thanksgiving is on a Friday so Thanksgiving is gonna be Friday 
Saturday the 15th, 16th, and then Monday the 17th. So we know Monday was also, well, it was Monday, I think it was President's Day. But yeah, uh, so um, we decided to go to, this was last month, y'all know. Um, and I already gave her her uh, Valentine's Day gift. Oh, that's a nice story time. Oh my God. Talking to, but let's stick with this. But um, so yeah, uh, yeah. So basically, um, damn. Yeah, so basically we uh, we made plans. Uh, she basically, uh, she said, let me know and if she got paid or not. So then I'm just like, go ahead and pay, babe. And she was like, you sure? I said, yeah, I'll pay. Like, I, cause I was pretty sure that my manager was going to approve of that pay time off and I was gonna get that pay time off. So then, um, so soon I basically sent them at my manager email and it was a process and everything like that. And then um, waiting for her response and the days coming forward and then, um, uh, Joy called me. She said, "If I wait, if she went, if if if, she, if I wait her to get by her by a duffel bag, that's all. No, I got my own bag, which is a big the big suit. I, I came in Orlando when I moved here from Miami, and then she she said, how big is that? I said, it's big enough.' And she was like, "Pause. That sounds so." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, she was like, and I said, "Yeah, it's big enough." She said, "Okay," and then um. Yeah, uh, it took a while to a point where my manager, she had time off, she left, like, and I didn't know if I was gonna get the time off. Then the manager who was taking her place, Angel, who's the manager of the other department, she approved it if I responded to my email, I said, thank God. So then I told my girlfriend we're good to go. Then two days before the cruise, um, she calls me nearly in tears and sad about it. She said, Keisha and Howard can't go. I'm like, how, how come? She said, because Howard, he had issues with the passport, getting the passport, going to Miami to the uh, um, government department and, uh, and still couldn't get the passport to basically be able to go to the cruise without the passport. You have to have some sort of identification. Weeks before the cruise, I called my mom. She sent my birth certificate, which is very important. Shout out to my mom. And I was able to get it and was able to go to a cruise with the birth certificate and then, um, yeah, so basically, like, um, yeah, so she was sad about it. I had to cheer her up. I said, We're gonna go together, we're gonna have a good time. I, I would have loved for Howard and Keisha to go, but we can't let that install us. And Keisha said she's been in multiple cruise ships, she wants to go and have a good time. So Joy thought about it. She's like, Okay, we're gonna go, baby, and enjoy our time. I said, Yeah, then we had good laughs the night before, and then she was like, Oh, I'm gonna pick you up around. She said, I'm gonna pick you up around i'm gonna leave my house at six and it takes her an hour 15 minutes to get to my place an hour 15 minutes she drives to get to my place shout out to her man like i couldn't think of someone who would do that but for, they will do crazy stuff for love and things like that so um so basically she she um she's basically said yeah she said i'll do anything and i was like all right um and then basically um um she said she's gonna leave her place at six get to my place at seven and we'll leave there. I'm like, oh, she said, I said, that's kind of later than I thought. She said, yeah, because I want you to get some sleep. I'm like, all right, baby. I said, yeah. So the night before Thursday, we, we leave it Friday morning. I decided to do laundry. I did laundry and then basically I put, uh, after the, the, the laundry was done, I basically put in the dryer. Put in the dryer, I fell asleep. And good thing I put an alarm because I knew myself I was gonna fall asleep. I woke up in the middle of the night. I woke up. I, I, no, I woke up when my alarm um, rang. My alarm rang. I rang, made rang at 4:20 a.m. in the morning. And mind you, she was gonna leave at six, come at seven. Remember, she said that because y'all gonna see something. So basically, I woke up at 4:15. Then I went to a laundry mat. Then I went to a laundry. I'm like, damn, some of the clothes wasn't dry, and I forgot I put a lot of clothes in there, so some of it wasn't dry. Those that was dry, I put it on the iron table, and the rest I put it back in the dryer, put it for another 60 minutes. I'm like, damn, but I was frustrated because I I wanted to wake up to dry clothes. That way, it makes me go faster to get ready. So basically, um, I started ironing the clothes that was already dry. We got got to work with those, and then um. And then um, while I was ironing those, uh, I was basically going back and forth in my room, packing up stuff in my suit in my um, big um, um, suitcase and things like that. And uh, um, um, yeah, big uh, uh, bag and stuff like that. So a big suitcase. And then putting stuff in my suitcase, Colgate, uh, um, cologne, all, all those things, body wash, all those things. And then I went back to um, the the laundry mat room. I'm um, the clothes. Then after 60 minutes, they was done dry. Took them out. 
Then I took them out, my roommates at DK. He's like, what you doing up so early? I thought, you forgot going to a cruise? And he's like, oh yeah. He said, oh yeah, I forgot to do that. He said, you ready? I was like, yeah, I'm nervous. I said, it was supposed to be four of us, but now it's only two of us. But it's both of our first cruise. We got experiences to get together. And then he was telling me, oh, you got protection. I'm like, well, you think it's like gonna happen? He said, I know something gonna happen. I'm like, okay. But me, I'm like, really? Like, I was just like, chill, though, chill. So basically, um, I was like, all right, and then it's, uh, then I'm leaving the laundry room with the with, with the clothes I just I folded, put in the bag. Then I'm going back to the laundry room where the um clothes that just finished trying to iron them. Mind you, uh, and then I come back, I see my phone run a 14 minutes call. I'm like, what the hell? Then I look and I'm like, I'm like, who called me like that? I saw it was Joy. She called me at 5 20 a.m. and she was like, CJ, wake up, CJ, wake up. I'm on my way. Mind you, remember what she told me the day before? She said, I'm gonna leave my house at six, get to your place at seven. Now she called me at 520. She said, wake up. I'm, 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 I'm on my way now. I'm like, what? She earn, she's earlier than I thought she was going to be. Like, what? What the hell? But I'm just saying to myself, like, she called 520 saying this. I said, I doubt she left her house then. She probably was calling me at 550 and basically telling me she's leaving now. So it's still 6 a.m. So I got time. So, bro, while I'm ironing some of my clothes, I'm going back to my room. I get a text message. I see my text message. She said, I'm outside. I'm like, outside? And then I'm just, bro, like, I'm just like, what the hell? She told me 6 a.m. is it 7 and things like that. I'm like, I'm like, there's no way she's outside. So I'm starting panicking. I'm looking at I see her, and I'm, I'm taking all my clothes that I, I barely finished ironing, throw them in the suitcase. Like, there, yeah, I'm throwing it. And then basically, I ran to the bathroom, brushing my teeth, washing my face. And, and, and I'll say, oh, give me a few minutes. She said, I thought you was ready. I'm like, oh my goodness. I didn't know she was going to be here already. She told me, like, this girl said, six, uh, leave her place 6, get to my place 7. Now she's here at 6 15 a.m. I'm like, what the hell? So so basically, I was all laid back, relaxed. Now I'm rushing, I'm going fast. Put on my clothes, got the suitcase, ran outside and dragging it. And then basically, um, with the wheels. And she said, CJ, where the hell are you going with that suitcase? I said, This suitcase I bought. She said, We're going to a three, a two day cruise. CJ, three day, two, two to three day cruise. We don't need all, a lot of things. She said, I got my small duffel bag. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna go back in. She said, oh my goodness. And I said, I'm gonna go back in. So I went back in and I had a trash bag. I know, I know. Yeah, I, gotta see, I got a clown for this, the other people I told the story to. So I got a trash bag. I took all my clothes and everything. I put in a trash bag. Tied the trash back up and uh, held the trash bag with red back out. I said, CJ, where the hell are you going with that? I said, that's a trash bag. He said, I know it's a trash bag. You homeless? He said, why you got a trash bag with you? He said, why the hell would you call your big a trash bag? I'm saying like, I said, because I wanted to rush. I didn't want people outside waiting. I said, I just got my thing, put in the trash bag, came out. I got the trash bag a long time when I was taking the gray house to my, to my, he said, that's the gray house. That's my, we went to a crew. That's going to be people watching. And they see what the trash bag, what are supposed to think? I'm like, Ugh. He said, CJ, just get in the car. Get in the car. We already laid. I'm like, I'm like, all, all right. So I got in the car. And then basically, she's like, yeah. She turned. And then basically, she, oh, ooh, was leaving. And then, bro, that ride felt like forever because we went nearly an hour and change without talking. We didn't say a word to each other. Then, um, he's like, we literally been driving for an hour. And now one time did you try to apologize? Not one time. And I was like, yes. I said, I was. Then I saw you mad. He said, no, not one time, CJ, did you try to apologize? You didn't say, oh, I'm sorry for keeping you away. I'm sorry for not being prepared. A trash bag you came out. He said, not one time did you even attempt to apologize? Don't tell me you were. And I said, and I said, I, but I was. I, I just, I saw you mad. And I, he said, even though I was mad, if I was really mad, CJ, I would have just left your ass up uh, there, gone uh, onto the cruise by myself. Or Anyway, just not even go to a cruise at all. And I, he, said, he, said, he said, if I was really mad, but I'm not mad. He said, but not one time he tried to apologize, make it up, try to show me that you cared about making me stay outside all this time and going through all this. I just said, oh, I'm sorry. She said, now you say because I'm saying, said, oh my goodness, and then things like that. And she said, uh, and then um, he said, you know what? Like, if you want, he said, um, we can turn around and then I can drop you home and then we don't have to go to this cruise ship. And I said, no, I'm gonna go. She said, no, I'm not sure. She said, I don't think it's gonna be fun. I don't think it's gonna be fun. I heard just cause Keisha don't it's just like not going. I said like I said it is gonna be fun. She said cause the, your vibe now like she said it's awesome. She said I'm just gonna be fun. I said, it is gonna be fun. Like let us go. I'm like what? Like we did all of this. Like now you you trying not to go? Like what the hell? Like I, I'm not I'm not for that at all. So then she said okay. So basically um so basically um yeah. So I'm like yeah let's go. Then she said she said man and then um so we drove. And we driving, and I'm, I'm saying, but I really am sorry. He said, like, she said, I told you. He said, even, then basically we drove to a gas station. We got to a gas station. 
she got down and I ain't say nothing to her, she ain't say nothing to me. And then she came back out. When she came back out, she had a new, brand new duffel bag that she just bought. She threw it at me. And I said, thanks, babe. And basically she started doing gas. She did gas and then she got back in the car and we driving. She said, she said, as a man, you didn't even try to come out the, the car to do the gas yourself. You made, you literally made me do the gas by myself. She got to remember, this is my first relationship. This is me going along and learning. My dad was in here for an old time in my life. Like, even when my dad was here, we walked, we took bus, car thing, the, uh, uh, getting out to do the gas. I didn't know, like, <laughs> I know, like, you think all guys know, but I didn't know I was going to do that. I, I just, I, she was already mad at me. Like, I'm not trying to, like, you get me? So she basically said, like, you were supposed to know to come out and do the gas. You literally, like, made me, like, um, um, do the gas myself. And I said, oh, I, I didn't know. She said, she said, like, oh, my goodness. She said, and a duffel bag. I, I, said, I said, thank you. Things like that. So then she fell. Uh, uh, we got to an area. She parked the car. And she just, like, laid, uh, um, put her chair back. She said, move all your stuff from the trash back to the duffel bag. And then she said, I'll be sleeping. And she, she was sleeping. And I basically I, I, I went outside. Took all the stuff for the trash bag, threw it in a duffel bag, had a lot of zippers in there. And I was done. I put the trash bag in the side pocket. And she's like, and then she was like that for a while. Then finally she said, You you did you finish? I was like, yo, yeah, we drove. And it was a good ride and we got to Miami. We got to Port of Miami. Uh, we got to um Wilson Campus, my we got to my city, Miami. We got to Wilson Campus, my old college on campus, and then basically like um we got there and then uh she parked, uh, 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 she parked, uh, uh, we got inside the parking, um, so got to the third floor, got to the third floor, she parked, and basically, um, she had, uh, um, instructions on paper, I don't know where she got that paper, and then basically, we got down, I got her things, and we went downstairs, we went downstairs and got into our building, she was going to the elevator, I think she was looking for a place where you pay for your ticket, if you're gonna leave here for a couple, if you're gonna leave your car here for a couple of days, she went to a wrong place, it's my city, I knew what building she entered, but I didn't tell her, because we was already, like, kind of off now, talking to each other, and then basically, it was just like she said oh there's a wrong building we went around and we finally went to the entrance I said there's a building then in my head I'll say all this then we got in the building she basically paid for the ticket all the things then we saw a guy who was waiting for us he, he, he bought a jet blue van where he drives and he put every body thing in this thing in this shelter thing that, that the car the, the truck drag or the van drags so everybody's suitcase, everything is in there. So he took me and Joy's suitcase, put it in there, and then we went in there. We saw other couples and families in there. And he drove us. So he drove all the Port of Miami, different stops, different people got in down. And finally, it was all stop. We got it. She said, here, here's all stop. We got down. Uh, we took our, uh, he gave us back our bag. Family, said, and then he gave us his contact number. And he said, contact him when we get back. And things like that. I'm like, okay. Got to the Port of Miami. They said, get all our important stuff in there. I'm like, oh, snap. My birth certificate. Got it from in there. And Joy just looking at me like, like don't judge me like what are you looking at and then um we got stuff and we had to uh, procedures then basically they wanted to sign stuff joy said oh, only one of us did sign she signed he said let's go then we got there asked for our birth certificate and then took a picture and then we went through a oh, circle 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 like going through different procedures and things like that then finally the uh, captain greets us we got to the ship and we crossed the, the bridge we crossed the bridge and we got finally got inside the ship and they said rooms won't be when we got in there it was like a party going on a pool party everybody was lit around the pool like Dang. And music on, it was, and the ship looked amazing. Me, I'm taking, taking pictures, things like you can tell it's my first time, things like that. And then uh, they said uh, rooms won't be ready for another two hours. So then me and Joy found like a, a, a table. We sat down, and she said, she said you haven't even said anything, anything like that. Are you hungry? And I'm like I said, no, I'm just like you know. She said, oh my goodness, the CJ, are you hungry? It's just like it just felt like. The way everything started off with that whole trash bag and duffel bag and back and forth, the late leaving, it felt like the trip didn't start off the way I went into, so the energy was sucked dry from us, the hours of driving without saying nothing, all those things. So basically, um, so you say, I say, I'm hungry, I'm about to go to the sixth floor. She just went to see which floor was the casino, so she basically said, okay, she gonna check. So I went to the floor, uh, the ninth floor, where the food's at, get food. Then I said, I should get food for her too. She already told me what she wanted. Then basically, Joy came out of nowhere. Then she went, we'll go get, get, get trades. And she said, she's going to be sitting at that table. Found her, we sat together, we was eating. And then um, um, he said, like, what we should do next? And she said, she's going to go to the casino. Um, like, we went to a casino place. Every, uh, the places were shut down, but we got to see the casino thing. Then we started playing some, some casino, casino games. And then we were playing the casino games. It was fun. Like, we were playing this game where basically you had to, like, 
like with the gun, like all print the, the, the money where all the, the, the money's at. If you got it, then you can chop money. And the attempt was hard. It looks easy, but you gotta capture it at the same time. That was hard. We played another uh, game. It was just like these money, this core game where you have to keep out in certain quarters. And then the course, every time a quarter fall in, it basically moves the quarter that's already inside more forward. And inside it's also twenty dollar bills and other bills. And if you spell out, what was the word we were spelling out? Um, special or something or boost, you basically win a prize. So we got the letters. Me and Joy had got for over time things like that. But we went to our rooms, got our rooms, and then basically, um, she fell asleep. And basically, I stayed. I'm staying at the at the, at the bed. I, I, I tried. I was about to sleep next to her. But I was like, yeah, I know I'm a snore. So I decided to sleep on the couch. So I slept on the couch, and then um um. They came with our bags. I said, oh, babe, they got a bag. And, um, she said, did they bring your bag? I said, not yet. Gave, uh, put her bag on the side. And basically, finally, um, I came outside, saw my bad guy back. And she went to sleep. And then I fell asleep, like I said, on the couch. And she slept. And basically, she woke up. And she was just like, she was just like, you you really slept on the couch? I said, no, I slept next to you, taking a lot of space. And then basically, I decided to sleep on the couch. He said, that's BS, CJ. That's BS. He said, I'm not going to take that. He said, you really like, really like, he said, you, you a female to basically wake up and find her man sleeping on the couch and down next to her. And I said, oh, I said, I, said, I, I was sleeping next to you. I said, but then I, I decided, but I really wasn't. I just, felt, I just decided to sleep on the couch. I was still like, yeah. He said, are you serious right now? He said, no. Nah. And then basically, she, she said, she went to sleep. Next morning, she wakes up. She said, you sit, literally a uh, uh, Left on, uh, stayed asleep on, on, on the couch. I said, No, I didn't go back to sleep. I was awake. And she said, Are you serious right now? She said, You didn't even try, you didn't touch me, no affection, no nothing since we got here. It's just like, and I'm like, Bro, like, it's just like, Bro, it's Saturday now. And then it was stuff to do. We had a whole schedule of things to do on the boat. And it was like, Yeah, lit. I might do a, a part three to this because there's a, a lot more to say. But yeah, yeah, I got Friday. Yeah, I got the jigs of it. Look more fortunate. I might do it part three, but but, but until then, it's your man CJ to the JCC. Y'all already know. Appreciate every single one, y'all. 2020, get to it, get that mindset, and I'm out, man. Be breezy. Yeah, most these niggas ain't trying to see you win, and I can't trust nobody. Not interested in being friends. It's free all of my niggas till my niggas free again. Winning blind through these Cartiers, I can see again. I'm riding rich, but I.